very special type of jewelry that we make, which is cremation jewelry. What is that? So cremation jewelry is where we insert the ashes of a loved one, whether it's a pet or a person, inside of a jewel and seal it shut. So it's a very beautiful memorial piece to kind of commemorate somebody after they've passed. Probably if you're watching this video, that is probably the situation that you're in at the moment, so I'm very, very sorry. Hopefully if we make this piece together, it will be a very pleasant and fun distraction. All right, so one of the very first pieces we actually ever designed was for a client whose father had passed, and she wanted something very feminine, very delicate, and so we came up with this sapphire ring. So it's an oval sapphire with three stones on each side. Here we have it in yellow gold and in white gold, so I'd love to know which one you prefer. If you're wondering, we actually, how we, how we basically make the jewelry with ashes is that underneath the center stone, we'll actually add a small little compartment with the ashes inside and seal it shut. We chose to do it this way just because we found that, you know, there are many different companies who will offer with like screws where you can add the ashes yourself. But we didn't want to do that because we can't actually guarantee that, you know, moisture won't get in, water won't get into the screw. And so it just makes it a little bit more secure if we do it this way. So next we have this six millimeter band. Uh, this was a really interesting project because we had to find a way to actually incorporate the ashes. So you can't tell really by eye, but the top of the ring is actually higher than the base of the ring. And so we were actually able to create a compartment inside because the top of the ring is actually thicker. And so that's where the ashes are hidden inside. So it's very discreet. What I really love about this piece also is that we offer complimentary engraving with every piece. Um, as long as there's a place to put it, obviously, but you know, if, if you want to engrave anything from a name to a symbol to letters, uh, numbers, we can do it. And this client, her mother had passed, and her mother was an avid orchid lover. I love orchids too, so that was like a really fun project to do because we actually engraved orchids all along the band. So this is basically what you're looking at, is orchids um, to kind of represent her mother, and then we added like pave of sapphires in between. So it was a very beautiful piece. We high polished the inside, which means that it was very, very bright on the inside and it was matte on the exterior. So it gave a nice balance between um, like the contrast. Next we have a clover ring. So this was a very cute ring. It's, it's composed of four garnet heart shapes with a twisted shank in rose gold. So it has a very fun, very fresh look to it. Again, very discreet because we actually created a very small compartment underneath the center stone uh, where the ashes are stored. Of course, when you're using a band like this that is twisted, we can't always engrave that. So if you would like something like that, just keep in mind that there's, there might not be a, a to put places on, on the twisted shank, but it is a very cute look. On the same topic of twisted shanks, we also have this beautiful cushion cut blue zircon ring. So this is another style of twisted shanks that we have done. So you can actually have it like twisted really um, kind of like a, a bright uh, a cord. This one here is more of a braid. And because it was braided, we actually have more room to add pave on it. So for her ring, she asked that we incorporate tiny little sapphires along the shank. So it gives a very beautiful, a, a little bit more ornate look. And this was a really good example of birthstone jewelry. A lot of people choose to use the birthstones of a loved one for the jewelry. This is actually Zircon, and Zircon is the month of December. It's a very beautiful blue stone. A lot of people think that it's actually topaz, but it's not topaz. It actually has a higher refraction index than topaz, so it is a really beautiful stone. For birthstones, like, all of our jewelry can be customized. So you can either come to us with like, okay, this is the exact model that I want, or we can play around with it. We can customize basically anything. So if you want to change the center stones, just ask us because we can always provide a quote, no problemo. Next we have this very beautiful amethyst halo ring. It was actually designed for a client whose daughter had passed. And so it was a very meaningful piece for her. We added uh, tiny, tiny, tiny little diamonds around the center stone. It depends on what it is, that the style that you guys want. We can always find different alternatives based on the price point that you're looking for. 
So, you know, if you want diamonds, there'll be a certain price, but if you don't want to hit that price bracket, we can always use white sapphire as well. So you can still have that kind of like glamorous look like this one. Do ask us, do tell us whatever it is that you're comfortable and we will always provide you with like different estimates. For her, she definitely wanted diamonds. They're not the highest carat weight, but it, it, it didn't need to be. It's just like a simple little detail around it, which I think looked great. Alright guys, so the next two that we have are actually black diamond and pepper diamond rings. Because if you don't know, diamonds come in basically any color, including black. And this is a very good example. We had made a solitaire ring for a client with a black diamond. This is made with a 1.6, uh, I want to say 1.6 can't exactly remember so it was of a decent size. It was also important for her because she didn't wear too much jewelry so I think she wanted something a little bit more minimal for like comfort and everyday wear. Next we have a pepper diamond. So this was for someone who had actually lost her cat recently and she wanted to commemorate her. And so we actually found a, a pepper diamond that she loved because it was the same color as her cat and so it was kind of like a very dark kind of like ashy speckled diamond. And the beauty of pepper diamonds is that not a single one looks the same. It's They're really sought after for their beautiful inclusions because you can find just very beautiful patterns, very beautiful swirls. And so out of all the ones that we presented to her to choose from, this was the one that really um, struck her for the resemblance of the color. So. This was a really fun project to work on. She wanted a non-symmetrical play on emeralds around the center zone. I think the contrast between the green and the black, it really makes it pop as well. So we do have Ash's necklaces as well. We just don't get asked for them as often. For some reason, I think people really prefer to have rings for Ash's jewelry. And yeah, if you guys want to check out the collection, if you want to work with us, you can always just send us an email. All the information is down below. I'd love to know which ring is your favorite as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.